First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this most happy of days. It's no accident that each of you are here today, as each of you were invited to be here because you represent someone important in the individual and collective lives of Becky and Mark. I can't think of a better venue or better weather day for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and better place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. I know how deeply these two care for and love one another, and I feel privileged to be here today among all of you as a witness of their commitment to a lifetime of love for one another. Becky and Mark started attending camp when they were nine and 10 years old. Both of them enthusiastically embraced camp and it didn't take long for them to be bitten by the camp rotary bug. They always knew of each other, but they didn't officially meet until five years later in the summer of 2008. Becky recalled that she always thought Mark was cute and remembers that she really wanted to take a picture with him at the Thursday night camp dance, but she was nervous to ask. So she used a classic senior girl strategy. She sent her friend Melissa over to ask Mark to take a picture with her first, so then Becky would be able to follow her lead and get a picture with Mark as well. The two remained camp friends over the next years, but during that time they were just friends and really only talked when camp was in session. Fast forward to spring 2011, when Becky got word that she had been accepted onto the Camp Rotary staff. Mark immediately reached out to Becky via Facebook to welcome her to the staff and to say congratulations. Mark asked Becky for her number, and they began talking every day leading up to that summer. They then spent the next two summers working as counselors and hanging out on their days off from camp. For those two summers, they decided it wasn't the right time to officially date yet, but they stayed in touch and would hang out on breaks from school. Finally, after Becky's first few months of college, Mark decided to officially ask Becky to be his girlfriend during the winter break from school. The next four years would test their relationship as their colleges were two and a half hours from each other, with Mark at UMass and Becky at Stonehill. Becky says that Mark was the MVP of the relationship, spending the majority of his weekends driving from UMass to Stonehill to visit her and cheer her on in the stands at every one of her lacrosse games. By 2021, it had been 10 full years of adventures and 10 summers spending their summers working together at Camp Rotary. Each year before the final staff dinner, Becky and Mark take a picture down at the waterfront on the dock of Stiles Pond with their longtime friend and coworker, Sarah. It's an annual tradition that all three hold dear. This particular photo, however, would be a very special one. Sarah offered to take a picture of the two of them before their official end of the summer shot. Becky was stunned and overjoyed when Mark suddenly dropped to a knee and brought out the ring. Becky and Mark wrote their vows together and they will now repeat them after me and exchange them. Mark, please repeat after me. Becky, I love you. You are my best friend and my rock. Becky, I love you. You are my best friend and my rock. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and to inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. 
and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. And to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. When our love is simple and when it's an effort. I will work to inspire you and always grow with you. I will work to inspire you and always grow with you. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. Now, Becky, please repeat after me. <laughs> Mark, I love you. You are my best friend and my rock. Mark, I love you. You are my best friend and my rock. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. Today, I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and to inspire you. I promise to encourage and to inspire you. To laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. To laugh with you and comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. Sorrow and struggle. <laughs> I, promise, I promise to love you in good times and in bad. I promise to love you in good times and in bad. When, it, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. I will work to inspire you and always grow with you. I will work to inspire you and always grow with you. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. These things I give to you today and all the days of my life. And now, Mark, do you take Becky to be your wife, to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others and holding unto her forevermore? I do. And Becky, do you take Mark to be your husband, to love, honor, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others and holding only unto him forevermore. I do. Becky and Mark will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Phil, could I have the rings, please? Mark, please place the ring on le Becky's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love, that I have chosen you, that I have chosen you, above all else, above all else, with this ring I thee wed, with this ring I thee wed. And Becky, please place the, the ring on Mark's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love, as a sign of my love that I have chosen you that I have chosen you above all else above all else with this ring I thee wed with this ring I thee wed and now my friends by the power vested in me by the commonwealth of Massachusetts I now pronounce you husband and wife I am so pleased to present to you the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Mastandria.
it doesn't take 2020 vision to see the truly special, loving relationship that Becky and Mark have formed over the years. I'm glad they've found someone who shares those passions and who makes them happy and who they want to spend all of their time with. They support each other in whatever they do. We can't wait to watch the next chapter of your life and be a part of it in whatever way we can. We love you so much. Thank you.